Dark Flyer Howl, Dark Flyer Howl Shack, right? We're um, just out here just trying to give you a, the not edification per se, just bringing out the basics, you know, trying to um, push this truth. Um, you know, like start by saying double honest to the LZGMS, right? Honest to you, brothers that be pushing this truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth, right? And pretty much with that, same, we just can get into whatever we want to get into. We'll start, but uh, if, you know, if you pull out Amos, Amos for it. Amos for us, I'll give it for you. Right. This is going to be Amos the ninth chapter, one of my favorite scriptures, because right, it gets it to the point. Alright, Amos the ninth chapter. And the eighth verse. I'm going to read that out for us. Behold, the eyes of the Lord God are upon this, this sinful kingdom. Right. That's basically the angels, as, as as the elders have brought it out, and all the brothers have brought it out. That's the angels of the Most High that are out there recording all the wickedness that the, the, all the, you know, all of you all of you Edomites, which is the so-called white man, right? All of you elite banking families, right? The Rothschilds, the Duponts, like we bring out every week, right? The angels of the Most High are watching and recording you, and even on the lower level where you have the 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 peons that you know you go to work with, and you, you know whatever happens to work, it happens to work, and the Most High has it to where. Your, your situation is, is bad. If you serve the most side, right? If you, you're doing this work for the most side, the most side has it to where them angels is watching and recording anything that's happening. Yeah? And right, the most side is saying there, it's, it's being recorded. Right? So you want to carry around for us. And I will destroy it from, from, off the, from off the face of the earth. Right? So the most side is going to destroy the, 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 this kingdom, this society from off the face of the earth. Right? Meaning to say, he's going to establish his kingdom, which is the nation of Israel, the 12 tribes of Israel, the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans. Right, of which came in different shades and forms. Right, you know when when uh um, for instance when you know in different brothers is different. Right, you know I like I like my Asian women. I like my Chinese women. So I'm gonna get into my Chinese women. Right, that means my Chinese my son's gonna come out looking half Chinese. And what if it, what if he's got the pre you know predisposed to the same liking and the same taste as his dad? That means to say my grandson's gonna look full full on Asian. Does that mean that child is a, is, is a Moabite? No, that child is is is, is still an Israel. He's got the spirit of Israel with it. As a matter of fact, if you jump to uh, um, if you jump to um, we, we go to uh, Romans the ninth chapter, right? Run about the the first verse, right? Because because the Mosai Mosai has set up a gene, right? A gene for a particular group of people that he's chosen from the foundations of the earth, right? That are gonna that, that are gonna not only they're gonna they, they're gonna uh, um, they're gonna be uh, exempt. Right from the, from the missiles, and really the elect is going to be exempt from the, the missiles that are coming. That's why the scripture is saying there, his eyes are upon the sinful kingdom. So all the wickedness that you're doing is being watched, right? And the more side is going to, you know, more side is going to do something for it. Right? You want to start from the top first, bro? Which chapter? Uh, Romans the uh, ninth chapter, uh, and uh, you can start from the top. I say the truth in Christ. Right. I lie not. My conscience also bearing with me witness in the Holy Ghost that I have. That I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart, for I could wish that myself were accursed from Christ, from from for my brethren, my kinsmen according to the flesh. All right, stop right, right, right about that. So he's saying he 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 wishes like like <clears throat> he wishes he had the same curse, right? That he had uh, um that Christ had, and what's the Christ that what's the curse that Christ had? The scripture says, "Cursed is every man that hangeth upon a tree." Right, so the Lord went up on the cross and died for for the for the iniquity of the children of Israel, of which we all been wicked. Right, and thou all how why how shall be sent his only begotten son that we may be saved? Otherwise, we're going to have the same judgment as all of the all, all of the other people out there. Right, so uh, uh, the most high sent his only begotten son. Right, and matter of fact, we can break that down if you jump to John three sixteen. You want to hold if you hold that and you jump to uh, John three sixteen. Right, so to the most high all sent his only begotten son so that the world can be saved. Right, but we know through the scriptures, we know through uh, um, uh, uh, we know through the through the uh, um, the, 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 the 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 Hebrew, right? If I can get it up here, if we know that through the Hebrew that 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 world that he's talking about there is the children of Israel, the the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, right? If I could just get it up on 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 on, on the phone, and you you bring it out there as well, bro, when you get it. Right, because contrary to belief, the most side, the most side didn't, bring, the most side didn't bring, uh, uh, the most side didn't have it to wear. Uh, so, uh, okay, like, 
Round about? John? Yeah. Oh, the St. John. Sorry, St. John. Oh. It's gonna be uh, 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 right at the front. No, I'll go there. I'll, I'll read it there. So you hold Romans nine. I'll, I'll bring this one out. Yeah. So it says, "For the Most High, right? So, uh, uh, so loved the world, right? This is everyone favorite scriptures? For the Most High, so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, right? That uh, uh, that whosoever believeth in Him should should not perish but have everlasting life, right?" So on the surface, it looks like the Most High is sent His only begotten Son. That whoever whoever believed on Him, right? Whoever believed in Christ, for instance. Now, first and foremost, you gotta you gotta break it down. When you go to these Edomites, you go to us. They mean they believe in the Most. They don't believe in the Most High. You go to these Ammonites. They go they they go their they all they go their own gods, right? That's why the Most High said it to where don't to, to set it up in the law where we wasn't supposed to follow the ways of the heathen. And with the ways of the heathen is those 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 uh, different gods. Right, those those uh, strange strange women, right, so to speak, because you know so, sometimes the scriptures have it to where uh, women is parabolic to uh, 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 um, the different doctrines, right? It says so for the Most High so loved the world, right, that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish but have us everlasting life. And when we go into that word right there, if you want to go to Acts two, um, Acts two and twenty five, right, when we go to that word there. The word there is cosmos. It's Strong's G uh, two eight eight and nine, right? The word there is cosmos, right? And it says uh, um, an arrangement or constitution, a government. Isn't the isn't 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 the Israel the Most High like like an unto a government? That's why he said there's an elect, right? That's why he said there's a, there's, a, there's an elect within that, group, right? Uh, uh, as as uh, in a sense that it's, it's a governing body, a leaders, which is the elders on down, right? Right unto right unto us, the the, the, the younger men. Right, he says, uh, 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 ornament, uh, decoration, adornment, right, and arrangement of stars, right, and ornament the world, the universe, which is which is they they're going off there, right, because it, it's not the whole world, it's just a, it's a sector, right. That's why it, that's why the first one it had is an arrangement of constitution, right, and then uh, let's see if it, if 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 it's got any more on the point. Pretty much that's it. You wanna you wanna read that scripture for us, bro? Acts two and twenty five. Acts two and twenty five. Call it, I call it out and read it. Isn't it? Right. Acts 2 and 25. For David, for David speaketh concerning him. I foresaw the Lord. Acts 2 and 25? Sorry. Acts 2 and 25. No, it's Isaiah 2 and 25. Sorry, my apologies. Isaiah 2 and 25. And then it'll be uh, um, Acts. <coughs> Scripture. Scripture is just slipping me. You know, you, you do the basics sometimes, you forget the basics. You, know, you go brush up the basics. That's it. Forty-five and seventeen. That's it. So Isaiah forty-five and seventeen. That's the one. Forty-five. Yeah, forty-five and seventeen. I'm pretty sure that's the one. Hopefully, it'll be the one. Right. Really. But Israel, I shall. Um, this is forty-five yeah. and um, seventeen. Isaiah forty five and seventeen. But I what Israel I shall I shall what Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Right, who's the Israelites, the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, right? And it's in the same wording. So really really if you if really if you people were in the in these scriptures like you say you was in these scriptures, I'm talking about you so called Christians, right? You so you the, the people that believe that that the most is gonna come and save everyone. You know that when uh, um when John three sixteen, John three sixteen was like a, a a phrase that he was saying, where he was almost power phrasing what he was saying in the Old Testament, which is Isaiah 45 and 17. If you can, bro. Salvation, ye shall not be ashamed, nor confounded, what, uh, nor confounded world of our end. Right? So the Most High is telling you there that uh, uh, um, Israel was like an unto a world of its own. It's just a world of, of its own. Didn't he say in the scriptures? That uh, um, Israel is above all nations. If you, matter of fact, you can put it out in Deuteronomy the seventh chapter and the sixth, the sixth verse. Like is the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, the the worst people, the oppressed people of this kingdom, are above all the people upon the face of the earth. All right. Uh, um. Let me just get the wording there. This is going to be as same scripture, Isaiah forty five and seventeen. And let's see what. Uh, you want to go ahead and yeah. Uh, uh, you can you can read that in. Um, yeah. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Yeah. This is Deuteron Deuteronomy uh, 6 and 7. 7 and 6, sorry. That's 6 and 7. It, uh, sorry, let me see. Uh, 6 and 7. Yes. 
No, it's always on the right hand. That's how I remember it. So, so it's seven and six. It'll be. Yeah, that's uh, the one. Deuteronomy seven and six. The Lord did not set His love upon you, nor choose you, because ye were more in number than any people. So yeah, not from uh, six of us. Six of us. Sorry, set up a little bit. Thanks. Deuteronomy seven and six. For thou art a holy people unto the unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy right. God. The holy meaning separate, right? Just like Israel is separate. Even 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 in the way we walk, the way we talk, right? The spirit of the Most High is put upon it. A spirit of flavor, right? Hey, the scripture says Israel is Israel is the salt of the earth. I mean, to say we've got the flavor, we add the flavor to the earth. If Jake turns his cap backwards, right? Everyone does it. If Jake wears yellow shoes tomorrow, everyone's gonna be wearing yellow shoes, man. Right? That's why Israel Israel's above all nations. We're separate. We're a holy people unto the Most High. I'm going to carry on, bro. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Seven. Right, and that's that's pretty much it. If you want to go back to um, Romans, the ninth chapter, you carry on that, that, that part. Please. Romans the ninth. Romans the ninth chapter, yeah, bro. Uh, I start from the top. I say the truth in Christ, I lie not. My conscience also bearing me with witness in the Holy Ghost, that I have great heaviness and, and continued sorrow in my heart. For I could wish that myself were a curse from Christ for my brethren, my kinsmen according to the flesh, who are Israelites, to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of law yeah. and the service of God and, and the promises. Yeah, you want to hold up there? So the most I said the, the, the glory, the covenants, so like it, the glory and the covenants, right? And the law, the giving of the law, right? It's going to be Psalms, the 149th chapter. Uh, Psalms 149, verse 1. Psalms 149, verse 1. Psalms 147 and the 19th chapter. So we know the most high is given, uh, uh, like he's saying there, the New Testament is really just powerful. It's just it's the Old Testament. The most high said he's the same yesterday as he is today as he is going to be tomorrow. Right? When you have it in the New Testament, he was just, prophets were just power praising, at certain instances, prophets were just power praising certain bits of the, uh, uh, um, of the law. Like when the law was on the scene, he said, he said, doesn't it say in your law that you are God's? He was power phrasing, um, he was power phrasing uh, uh, Psalms, man. If I, if I if I remember it correctly, he was power phrasing Psalms, right? And just in that instance, there, most the, the, the most I has it to where a, a, a Paul who's writing the scripture, just writing the scripture here to the Romans, right? He's writing the letter to the Romans, uh, uh, rather more. He's having it to where he's saying the law was given unto the Negroes in spite of his name, right? And we know that because he says in, in here in Psalms 147, 19, it says he showeth his word, which was the word. Right, the word, the scriptures, the, the, you know, the, the laws, statutes, commandments, the 416 laws, and, and how to conduct ourselves, the history, right? It says, he showeth his word unto Jacob, right? His statutes and his judgment unto Israel, right? And it's the 28th verse. It says, he hath not dealt so with any nation. So the most I ain't dealt with no any nation as he has dealt with these, as he has dealt with the nation of Israel. He's dealt with them on a higher level, right? Namely, he's given them the laws, right? Just like how the most I separated the animals, uh, from human by giving the humans more order, the Mosai has even gone deeper and separated the humans from the Israelites, where with the Israelites are likened unto gods because they have a further order, namely the laws, statutes, and commandments, which the laws, statutes, and commandments are going to be implemented in the, you know, when, once the Mosai destroys his kingdom. Right? This is going to be implemented. And if anyone wants to go outside and not do the law, anyone wants to go sleep with another man's woman, it's going to be put to the death in accordance to the, uh, to the scriptures. If any man wants to not go after after these different gods, they're going to be put, they're going to be judged in accordance to the law, statutes, commandments, and all the abominations that these people do. Right? He says, "He have not dealt so with any nation, and as for his judgments, they have not known them." Right? Praise ye the Most High. Right? You want to, you want to start on the uh, yeah, just on the fourth verse. Who uh, on the yeah. what was it? Yeah. Who are Israelites to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of God? And the promises, whose are the fathers, and whom, and whom, as concerning the flesh, Christ came, who is over all God. Right, hold, up, hold up, there, bro. So, so we, there you have it, as concerning the flesh, as concerning the law, right, and the covenants. That's who Christ came for. His kingsmen, 
right? Which goes to cut John 3.16 like we broke down already. All right, you want to carry on, bro? Uh, I'll just start with five again. Whose yeah. are the fathers and, and, and of whom is concerned the flesh Christ came? Who is over all? God blessed forever. Amen. Not as though the word of God hath taken none effect, for they are not all Israel which are of Israel. Right, that's speaking about the elect, the fact that the Messiah is going to set up his elect. His elect is going to be uh, uh, pulled out, out, of, out, 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 out through the fire, like it says in Ecclesiastes. Uh, 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 no, like it says in uh, Zechariah, let me just get it up. Zechariah, the, um, this is going to be Zechariah, the 13th chapter and the 8th verse. Right, it says, this is Zechariah 13, it says, And shall come to pass that in all the land, there, uh, in, uh, in all the land, saith the Lord, Right, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. Right, so two parts, two thirds of Israel, right, is going to be cut off and die. Right, so Moses is dealing with the elect. He says, but the third shall be left therein, and it's going to tell you pretty much the same thing as you, you know, you work your way down. As in the Moses is going to do the power, right, and the majesty to have mercy on whoever he wants to have mercy on. He says, and I'll bring the third part through the fire, right, and it will refine them as silver is refined. You want to hold Ecclesiasticus, uh, the second chapter and the first verse first. Right, it says he's going. It says and I'll bring, I will bring the third part through the fire, and I will refine them as silver is refined. Right, so that's that goes to that goes to all of the hell the the the, the, the uh, no, Ecclesiastes it's in the book, the one in the book of Sirach, so. Right, it says uh, um, round about yeah, you know, the one with Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes, just after in, in the book, but, um, yeah. The second chapter of the first verse, and it says, And it shall come to pass in all the land that will save the Lord, uh, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, right? but the third shall be left there. Right? And I will bring the third part through the fire. And you want to you read that from, from, the the top, top. Yeah, from the top, please. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare right. thy soul for temptation. Right, if you come to serve the Lord, if you come into, into the knowledge of of uh, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, if you come into the knowledge and understanding of, of how you conduct yourself within the confines of the Lord's statutes and commandments, the Most High, what is the Most High saying? Set thy heart aright and constantly endure, and make not haste in time of trouble. Right, you, you, you're supposed to constantly endure. And we, hey, we, we catch all kind of hell. Right, that's the difference between us and these flowery uh, uh, Israelites that you have there that take the wind off. Right, we take the winter off. We're catching hell, man. The most I will have it to where some, some, uh, you know, some madness happening, happening in our life, whether, whether it be, you know, you know, you might lose your job. You, hey, you, you might, you might fall. You might, we might, we, we might, we feel like we're gonna drop dead and die. Right, speaking on behalf of the world, we feel like we're gonna drop dead and die if we miss a day of camp. Right, and that, but that's not for of ourselves. As you go see it when we go back into Romans the ninth chapter, that's not of our own, our own spirit. That's the spirit of the most high that He's put upon us. He's put upon the, like it says in uh, Jeremiah the twenty eighth chapter and the eighth verse, the spirit of the prophet is subject unto the prophet. So that's not the spirit that we've chosen for us. That's the mercy of the most high. And the water, how why how shy? And hey, I pray for myself every day that I'll be a man of the Lord. Cause there ain't nothing else worth it. Ain't nothing else worth it in this life. Right, all of the money, the women, right, all of that, all of the, all of the things of this world, it's all gonna burn, right? Right, and we get, we hope, you know, those people will get into sec, uh, Second Peter's the third chapter, where you know it's gonna show you everything's gonna melt away, everything's gonna burn. That's the judgment of the Most High, right? You can carry on for us, bro. Cleave unto Him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Right, just like I was saying, th- like, like I was saying, because you can, you can be the richest and wealthiest man in this kingdom. It ain't gonna compare to nothing that you're gonna see on the other side. It's not gonna compare to what you're gonna get on the, on the other side or the north side, right? The most side is gonna have it to where people are subject unto you, not like the way Esau's got you in subjection, right? Where you feel like you're free, right? But you really are in captivity. No, you're gonna know your, you're gonna know the children of Israel have put you in captivity, man, right? and pursuing to um, uh, Revelations 2 and 25. Man. You're gonna know, let, me, let me just get it. This is a beautiful scripture, right? This is Revelations, the second chapter. And the twenty fifth uh, verse, and it says, "But it's uh, but that which ye have already hold fast until I come, right? That which we have already, the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the scriptures, the knowledge that we, you know, the most high is going to destroy this kingdom, the knowledge of the, or the fact that, you know, we, you know, are, are we going to do this work? Otherwise, you know, we're we're going to be caught up in the fire. No, not to say just because we go out, we're going to be saved." We don't know who the most high is going to have mercy on. That's why we. That's why we do it diligently. That's why we hasten the day. Right, because we don't know when the Lord's coming. One, we don't know what who the Lord's going to say. Two, right, we know it's going to be amongst Israel, and we know it's going to be amongst select. 
And we know it's going to be most likely the elders. We, we, well, we know it's going to be the elders, right? Because they've been putting a diligent work, right? But it's, it's, it's not for any man to, unless any, any man should boast, right? The most is going to have mercy on whoever's going to have mercy on them. Hey, we just got to hope we're going to be in that number, right? And it says, but that which you have already, hold fast until I come. Right, and he that overcome, what are you gonna, what are we gonna overcome? We're gonna overcome the the uh, temptations of this world, which is what it's talking about in um, in Ecclesiastes, the second chapter, which the Bible is reading. It says that which ye have already. Uh, it says, but uh, he that overcometh, overcometh this world, and keepeth my works unto the end. Right, to him will I give power. And right? this is the true power. This is the riches that you're gonna wait for. Right, to him will I give power over the, the nations. You're going to have power over the nations, not one nation, not just Moab, not just Ammon, not just Ishmael, right? Not just Japheth, right? Not just Esau, because Esau is our principal enemy, right? The one the most I sent the children of Israel into, uh, into captivity, he said he was going to go into captivity into, to your enemy, right? Then he goes, he didn't say to your friend, he didn't say captivity by way of slave ship, just croak on, you know, on the, on the cruise, man. They weren't swimming pools when we was coming over, when we, when, when we was going over into the land of America. Which you know, certain brothers are in the land of America. I'm just paraphrasing certain brothers in England, right? We were, I mean, but we on a spiritual sense, we understand in the by way of reincarnation. Some of us were the ones that were actually on those slave ships, right? Although you know, you might end up in a different part of the world and you know, you come to the understanding of the truth. But back then, 300 years ago, by way of reincarnation, you could have been, we was the ones on those slave ships, man. Right, and the Most High said He was going to send us unto our enemy. So we know we're going to have our enemy, uh, like it says in uh, uh, Psalms um, 149. Right, let the saints let the saints be joyful. Let the two edged sword be in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen. Vengeance is something that you do after something has been done to you. So all of this talk about peace and people coming together, the Most High ain't dealing with that. He wasn't dealing with that in old Babylon. He ain't dealing with it now. Right, it says, and I'll give you, and I'll give power. The Most High is going to give power over the nations. This is in the scriptures, right? Right, and it says, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. Right. So when they say the Most High is a peace, God, the Most High is a Lord. They said the Lord is an austere man. How much more so is his father? Right. Yeah, yeah. Whom the world calls the mo, who the more world calls God. How much more of an austere man is he? Right. It says. And he said, I ruled them with a rod of iron. So the Most High said, the increase of the man that follows and keepeth my works to the end. It's not that the deals and flowers and candy and 147 virgins, right? But which we're going to have all kind of virgins first and foremost, right? In the kingdom, but that's 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 what them Ishmaelites think. You're going to walk around in peace, and you know, you, 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 Esau's going to still be around doing his business, and you're going to still be around doing your business. No, the Most High said, order is going to be basically order is going to be set up. You're going to be at the top of the food chain. But Moses is basically saying, I'm going to make you the the, 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 the the lion in the kingdom, right? Of which that's where, that's that's that's, that's the uh, uh, spirit most likened unto the men of the Lord, that, that, the, the lion spirit, right? right? He said he hasn't, oh, he said, yeah, I, I haven't given you a spirit of slumber, right? He gives us a spirit, a spirit of boldness, right? He says, he shall rule them with a rod of iron, and right? as a vessel of the potter shall they be broken to shiver. So, man... Right, it's gonna be a beautiful thing when the Mosai sets that kingdom up, right? When, when the Mosai sets set it up to where you, you you're gonna feel the you're gonna feel what the, the the hell that you've put on Jack, right? You're gonna feel all of that. You're gonna feel it, right? He says, as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers. Man, the Mosai is the Mosai is Mosai is coming down with all kind of hell right? on you on on you Edomites, right? On all Ishmaelites, you Moabites, all of the people that have fought against Israel. Like the scripture says, you know, this shall be the plague where if everyone has fought against Israel, right? So, you know, their tongues going to melt away with us. They stand on their feet. The eyes going to melt. That's an ICBM, man. That's a nuclear missile, right? Going to show you the most I, most I put that word out. You put that vibration out, right? It don't come out to him, boy. That's why Esau's got his, all this kind of technology thinking he invented it, thinking it's his own spirit. Right, and the most I put it in within his spirit to destroy himself. That's why the scripture says he's, he's, he shall make his own tongue to fall upon himself. Right, and it says as the, as the, as um as a vessel of a potter shall they be the, shall they be broken shivers. You know, bro, when you you broke your mom's vase and it shatters all over the place. That's how you that's how you Edomite is gonna be. The most I even went further in in the book of Isaiah to where where he says let let their wives be ravished. Right, let their children be dashed to pieces. That's the spirit of the Most High that's coming. That's what He's bringing to this earth. That's the future as concerned in the Scriptures, man. 
right? Let their children be broken, right? Let, 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 let the women be ravaged, let their children be broke, right? And you, hey, to, 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 to kill a baby takes a lot, hell of a lot of spirit, right? But the scripture says it to where the Most High is going to put his spirit within us. But then you got to think about it. What was Esau doing to our children, man? He fed up, he, he used up. That's just, that's just judgment. What we're going to do is just judgment, right? The Most High is just saying, okay, that's what happened. Let's balance it. You know, you dash them. You know, set up order. Esau had it to where we were sport, man. Right? He cut, he cut, the, he cut them babies out. With, with the woman was alive. All women was alive. You know how you get a feeling for your woman. Imagine your woman hanging from a, 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 a tree, right? And Edomite is gonna cut the baby out while she lives and cries, and you see the baby fall out on the ground. He uses um, alligator bait as well. Exactly, exactly. That's the same point I was gonna. That's the spirit. That's the same point I was gonna bring out. Right? He uses alligator bait, and really, they uses alligator bait now. Right, if you if you imagine if you think about it, because who's on them front lines, man? Who's really fighting them armies? Because Esau can't fight a battle for nothing. He put, he puts them Jakes out there to think that they're fighting for for a righteous cause, man. When it, them them soldiers in Iraq and so on and so forth, the majority of them them foolish Jakes who really they they, they deserve to be destroyed for joining the Esau's armies, man. All right, but, but the majority of them Jakes, the the, the the ones that really really be really passionate about because Jake is passionate, man. The really ones that really be getting passionate about the, the, their Esau's wars is them Jakes, man. All right? So they're like the the alligator bait. And them elites know that them 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 wars are just Ponzi schemes, man, just to keep that currency going. All right? And, and that's pretty much with that. You can carry on over that, bro. Uh this is um please ask you such to verse four. Who's Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully. Right, whatever, whatever, whatever hell we're getting through in this kingdom, take it cheerfully. Come on, bro. And be patient when thou art changed to a low state. Right, so the more side is going to raise you up, we're going to bring you down. Raise you up, we'll bring you down. Just like gold. Bash it, you heat it up, you cool it down. Bash it, you heat it up, you cool it down. That's how we're like right now. But really, it shouldn't be nothing to you. I mean, hey, I say it, but I say it in the spirit. I don't know what the more side is going to do with me, Tom. I don't know what he's going to do to me, but I pray you, how why you outside, whatever's brought upon me, I take it. I just endure, right? But the, the way you're supposed to be is you, is you, as defined by the scriptures, is whatever whatever's happening, your mind is supposed to. I right, fuck it. Let me move on to the next thing. That's how you. That's the spirit you're gonna be. That's why the scripture says, "Love not the world, neither the things that are." And you're gonna be a samurai. Like, you're gonna be like samurai. Oh, hey, that's a, that's a beautiful analogy if you think about it. Because what's up? What's gonna be our sword? That's the scriptures is gonna be our sword. Hebrews, uh, the fourth chapter, of Hebrews, the fourth chapter and the twelfth verse said, "My word is like it, 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 uh, the word of the Most High is quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword. It piercing even into the dividing of the soul and, and, and spirit, right? So that the word of the Lord is kind. So we're gonna be like samurai, but what's a samurai? Even when a samurai has a wife, right? Everyone, everyone wants forty-seven Ronin. Even if, the, the, the woman was like, man, I understand you're gonna die. You're a, I married a samurai." Right, and that's how that's how we're gonna be to where it's like I got I got I got I got a, I got a, I got a fight I got a fight that I gotta fight I got a war we gotta win, right? And that sometimes that means dying, sometimes that means catching hell, right? I mean after that film Forty Seven and Rolling, you know, it, it one of the best films, but the, the the underlying principles you can see that's that's how Jake is. Mm -hmm. Jake is Jake, when we was in our order. When you think about King, when King David set up his armies and so on and so forth. That's the order King David set up to where you, when you, when you came into that, that, that uh, army, you swore, or you almost swore a, 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 an allegiance to that, to that army, right? You ain't, you wasn't going to back down. Hey, like, like Game of Thrones, if anyone watches Game of Thrones, you take that oath up, you, you keep that oath unto death, right? You might deal with the women and, you know, whatever the most I set up for you, as long as it's within the confines of the law, as long as you put this truth, you know, as a, as a, as a, as a high standard, right? You carry on, you carry on for us, bro. For gold is tried in the fire, and except all men in the furnace of adversity. Believe in him, and he will help thee. Order thy way right, and trust in him. Ye that fear the Lord, wait for this mercy, and go right. not aside, lest ye fall. Right, so you, you, you ain't supposed to go aside, or you ain't supposed to go aside from fearing the Lord. We know that uh, through Proverbs, the first chapter, on the 20th, uh, sorry, Proverbs 1 and 7, I believe it is, uh, um, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Right, can I remember for us, bro? Um, ye, ye that fear the Lord, believe in Him, and your and your reward your reward shall not fail. Ye that fear the Lord, hope for hope for good, and for an everlasting joy and mercy. Look at the look at the generations of old and see, did did ever any trust in the Lord? 
mm. and was confounded. Right, and that's pretty much it bro. on that one. It's like basically saying that we, you know whoever you want to go back to Romans the ninth chapter bro, when you was holding, right? When you start wrapping it up, right? Whoever who 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 feel, who, who had fear uh, who feared the Lord, right? And, and was confounded, right? Who, who 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 when when you know when when King David took those armies, prayed up to the Most High, he just went out to war and won those wars, man. Right, all the men before him. Right, you think about it. Daniel must have had a hella, hella lot of a spirit when he got thrown in the lion's den, man. Right, he's just like, hey, fuck it. This is what the most has put upon me, and he was all right, man. He he got delivered. Right, how much more so are we gonna be when the most is gonna set it up to this man's gonna, you know, you might, you might, you might get woken up this, this t tonight, man. You might get woken up tonight. Them, them, them storm raiders might come in tonight and say, hey, we're taking, man. We know what you're about. Right, and they'll try to shake your faith up, but you're gonna be faithful unto death. Like of which, hey, I pray every day that Yahweh house like, keeps me going, right, and keeps it to where, to where whatever's brought upon me, if it's death, it's death, fuck it, right? Because this life don't mean nothing. It's about the life that comes after, right? And I, like I say, the most size, like, the, like, like some of the prophets say, the most size is not, you know, un, it's not, it's not unjust. You're just gonna catch up. You're gonna have your little, you know, have a little fun. Right, but most of the majority of the time, the, the real fun, the real stuff you enjoy is the bubble, right? Which, hey, the Wadi Hawaii also, you have the bubble, because if it wasn't for the bubble, the hell, you, you lose it, man. You have no one to talk to, no one to understand the hell that you're catching and why, why you're catching it, right? Uh, with being in this trip, principally, right? And, and all, all the things that come with being in this trip, right? Um, you want to you carry on where you was. Uh, in fact, matter of fact, jump to the point, uh, 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 the, the 14th verse. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness of God? God forbid. For he, for he saith to Moses, I will have mercy on whom, who, who, um, whom, so look. For he saith to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy at. Oh. And I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. Yeah, pretty much. Most I saying I could do what the fuck, whatever the fuck I want, right? And that's a, I mean, hey, that's that's God right there, man. You gotta think, man. That's a that's a that's a power to be fair. I mean, Jake, you know, Jake gets silly sometimes. You try to push it to the to the limit, but that's a power to be fair, man. I'm gonna have mercy on whoever I want to have mercy on. Is what he said. That's a, that's a strong statement right there, man. Right? He say he's saying that that you know, hey, that goes without saying, pretty much. But you wanna to jump to uh Second Peter's the, the the third chapter and the um um Second Peter three and three and twelve maybe. So from maybe three and twelve. The second second Peter, second Peter, not first Peter. After that one. Uh one that one, that one. Yeah. Yeah. Third verse. Yeah, uh, the third chapter. Third chapter. Yeah. This second epistle. Uh, start on the. Go to the next one, let me see. Ah, yeah, start around about the. Go, go to. Uh, start around about. Seven first. The first, seven first. But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word. Uh, no, actually, no. Start from the fifth verse. Start, start the bit. No, no. Wait, wait, hold on. So, so like. Uh, third verse. Third verse, yeah. Uh, Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking walking after their own lusts. Right, right. Because you've got scoffers right now going up against the elders, going up against the men of the Lord out there. Right? Of which we take that. We take that personally as me. I, I know me, 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 you know, you sit down, you watch, the, you know, scoffers, you know, scoffing at the brothers, right, scoffing at the elders. You take it personally because, you you know, you get passionate about this thing. Right? You, you, and then most of the time, because we're in this, no, you're like, man, that's just... That's a that's a foolish point. The fact that these uh, 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 the fact that these guys think they're the uh, um the Egyptians. The Egyptians put you in captivity. Egypt was only great because the Israelites were there, man. Huh? That's the only thing. Greatest thing that Egypt did was put cap put the put put put, put the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans into captivity. That's the greatest thing they did. We built up their kingdom just like we built up this kingdom, right? That's the greatest thing they did. How they did that, the Most High put it in their spirit to give them power so that they could pull up. That's why the Most High said to Pharaoh, I've, I've made you that. Right? By his hand, the Negroes, Hispanics, and everybody, he, he, I, I gave you that quickness. If you, you, if you remember the story, what made really, if you go into history, what made really easy and great was the fact that the Most High put it within um, Joseph's spirit, one of the 12 trans, uh, sons of, 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 Jacob, of Jacob at the time. 
right, to get that vision to where he knew that that family was coming. So all of the riches from all of the surrounding cities were coming into Egypt because they were the only ones with food. You think about it, man. You got a, a gold watch in your hand, a Rolex, or you got a, a, a big fat, a, 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 a slab of gold. Uh, what do they, what do they call a bullions? You got two, twelve cases. You want twelve? You 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 haven't eaten nothing for two months. You got twelve kilograms of gold. You're gonna give it up? Of course you're gonna give it up. Them kids, the kids are crying, right? And someone's offering you a, 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 a corn. Uh, uh, like, let's say five five kilos of corn, and you got that gold. That we can't eat that gold, right? And you haven't eaten anything too, for too much. You gonna give that stuff away, man? And that's how Egypt got great because Joseph, Mosai had it to where Joseph had that that vision, man, right? And other things as well. Where with the Mosai had it to where Israel was the ones really building that. Kingdom. You want to carry on for us, bro? And, hey, and they haven't even worked out how they, they, they how how we built those pyramids. To this day, I haven't worked it out. You got all kind of theories about how we built it up. And, you know, hey, one theory I like, which makes sense, is, you know, you, you, you pile up the sand, right? You build it, then you take away the sand. He, but Esau don't think like that. He ain't got that logic, right? You can carry on, carry on for us, bro. And saying, where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. Right, and that's the scoffers, because they think that Mosai is not going to come back and destroy this king. You carry on for us, For this, they willingly and are arrogant of ignorance are ignorant of that by the word of God the heavens were, old, were, were of old and the earth standing out of the water and in the water whereby the world that was then whereby the world that, that then was being overflowed with water perished right what? that's talking about the flood that's talking about the first destruction uh, first destruction of uh, Babylon it was about yeah uh, first destruction of, of Babylon uh, no uh, yeah, pretty much, yeah. Uh, but after that, Nimrod said it, said it to it's pretty, the most I put it in Nimrod's spirit to try to build that tower where you can avert you know, the next flood. Right, but it's not going to be a flood this time. Well, and the most I confounded those languages, hence it was called Babylon. Right, but it's not going to be a flood this time. You're going to see it in the scriptures. Go, carry on for us, bro. But the heavens and the earth, which are now, by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment. Right, the most is reserving the, this kingdom. Right, that's why, like, 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 like Elder Ricard brought out, you know, it makes sense. Right, you got all of these people eating all this junk food. We eat that piece of junk food, we fall sick. Right, those people are being kept alive for the missiles. They're being kept alive. They keep, they, we, we're catching all kind of infirmities. You wake up one day, you can't walk, you wake up one day, you're sick. You know, you don't know what you've eaten. You, you know, you, really, you don't know what you're eating. Right, they said it, um, who was a prophet? I believe it was uh, Daniel. Um, Daniel, I think it was Daniel, where the Mosai said, uh, eat, eat cows, eat, eat human, man's dung, or eat cows, and then he said, eat cows' dung, right? Uh, to represent the, the, the kind of the kind of filth that we're going to be eating to this day, if I remember the story correct. But I believe in the same scriptures where the, 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 the food was going to be eaten right now is not going to be as nutritious as it was. First and foremost, because the earth is out of order, so you can't, revive, you can't grow food when the earth is all out of order, man. Right, the soil nutrition is, is, is degraded because this man uh, uh, practices what's called intensive farming. Right, you're supposed to move from plot of, plot of land to another plot of land, right, to so that the, the 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 earth can revitalize. Right, same thing. If you go to gym all the time, you're working out, you bice a bice a bice you're gonna burst your muscles, man. You're gonna rip, you're gonna tear something up. That's why you you, you work out, you work out shoulders one day, you work out the chest, bicep, you work the whole arm up, and the next week, you know, after seven days, you know, you, you're fresh again. You know what I'm saying? You, you're fresh again. You start the same workout, right? Although you're working out every day, it's a different part of the body, so you don't, you know, you don't go all out of whack. And that's what these, that's that's what East was done right now, right? You just used up and you got them fertilizers, which of which uh, uh, um is not good for you. Right, he's got them GMOs now, so they so they can grow even more stuff out of the same piece of land, the soil. And that's even worse for you, right? But that's nothing to worry about for us, because you know, as, as as long as we, you know, as long as we carry on pushing this truth, and Lord's willing, with the men of the Lord, right, we're gonna be all right. Right, you carry on for us, God. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing. That one day is with the Lord, and as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. Right. So this captivity might seem like a long time. It's three hundred years, four hundred years, five hundred years. Captivity might seem like a long time, right? But it's nothing for the most high. It's just a small, small speck of the large history that the, the Israel is going to have. The greatest history, right? The greatest history that is on the face of the earth. Not what Esau, Esau's technology, not Esau's iPads, right? Not Esau's skyscrapers, not his iPhone. Right, and he's all of his technology, man. Don't, that 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 that's old technology. That's old technology to us, man. 
Why we, we we I mean, hey, figure out how figure out how a uh, Noah fitted all of all of, the, all of those animals. How he done it on a scientific basis. Nobody can figure that out because he didn't take two animals of each kind. He took one of them kind. He must have been a master zoologist, man. All right, figure out, figure out how the Mosai made the elements, man. Figure out how the Mosai had it to wear. Uh, uh, um, uh, when we was when we was walking through the desert, we still managed to eat when there was no food. Figure out how the Lord, when He was on the scene, had it had managed to feed all of that multitude with the with the, with the, with the loaves, man. All right, because that's spiritual power. Well, you you call it technology, hey, you can call it technology, but that's spiritual power and it's technology, whatever you call it, it's all the same thing. It's science. Which science, if I'm if I, if I'm correct in, in remembering the words, uh, just means uh, knowledge. If I if I remember it, something to that effect. But I know math. A math just comes from the Hebrew word a math, meaning truth. Of which it, all of that science comes back to one thing, comes back to the truth. And the Most is gonna have that truth. We're gonna implement that truth within the Israel within the Israel. It's gonna write it on their hearts. We get born on the other side. We get those new bodies. So we're going to be doing right all the time. That's going to be we're going to be creating all kind of great technologies and great sciences. Are right, you going to carry, carry on carry on for us, bro? The Lord is not slack concerning His promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to us. Yeah. Ward is long suffering to us. Ward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to re to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Right, that's why we hasten the day, because it's going to say, the day of the Lord's going to come as a thief in the night. You ain't going to time it. You ain't going to, oh, man, yeah, the Lord's coming tomorrow. Let me get my shit together. All right? You, you, you're going to have to get your shit together all the time. Right? Like it says, oh, oh, oh it does say, you know, one man strike, well, you know, one night, one man strike. You know, the people got different study patterns. Right? If you see certain uh, uh, Israelites, certain Israelites just work all the time. They just got that spirit in them to just grind all the time. Right, so Israelites are more laid back. They just do a bit here, do a bit there. Doesn't mean to say that a man's out of the faith. It's just it's just a spirit of the Lord put upon him, right? Because the Most High has got different different levels of man. Not to say one man of the examples that I've just put out there is above is, is above or another in, in any way. It's just that's just a spirit. Hey, the Most High could just put that raw spirit on into where you just understand the scriptures, not read it too much, right? For the but for the vast majority of us. We're going to carry on studying, man. We have to be constantly in this world, constantly in this world, looking at this world. Like, you know, you know. remember you watched The Matrix and Neo saw the world different, hmm. right? When he woke up to it and he was he was, he was in uh, uh, Zion, he saw the world differently. He saw it like in colors. You can see it in different colors. Or even when he was in, a, um, remember the, the bird one, right? And they, they, they took his eyes out, yeah. right? And he could still see it. That's how, that's how this truth is, man. We can, we can see you people for what you really are. We see the society for what it really is. And we can see it clearly that the most is going to destroy it, right? That's why your financial system is breaking down. That's why your, uh, uh, um, your economy is breaking down. That's why the food system is breaking down. Man, you, hey, the, the famine is going to hit this place. And I know where I'm going to go to get my food. Right, not to be carnal, you know, it sounds kind of carnal, but you know, you know, you, you know, them, them, them dudes that you see them, them, them proud, them proud eating mats, man. They be talking, talking uh, uh, smack behind your back and so on and so forth. Right, hey, if the most I has it, man, I'm going to your house, right? I'm gonna get fed, and whoever I'm with at the time is gonna get fed too. And you better have that nice bottle of wine as well, you know, you're gonna have something to wash it down with, you know. <laughs> yeah, you gonna carry it up for us, bro. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heaven shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with the fer with the fervent heat, the the earth also, and the works that are that, that are therein yeah. shall be burned up. So so everything that's gonna that's that's here is gonna be burnt up, man. Or oh, hey, whatever it is is gonna be burnt up. Like the Lord when he was on the scene, he basically said the same thing. It's gonna come a day when not two stones gonna be laid up upon another. Right? It means say it's gonna be crashed down, right? And carry on for us, bro. Seeing that all these things shall be dissolved. All right, seeing, seeing all of that this destruction is going to come. Okay. What manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Yeah, what, what, what kind of person are you supposed to be in? What kind of, what kind of mentality are you supposed to have? Just constantly in this truth. All right, carry on for us, bro. Looking for and hastening on to the coming of the day of God. All right, looking Where, for, looking for, waiting for the Lord's return. All right. Wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Right. And, and uh, uh, I just say, yeah, yeah, the 13th verse is all right. So I go. 
Nevertheless, we, according to His promise, look for new heavens and a new earth. Right. So we look at, we look onto the new the, the new heavens and the most high going to set up pursuant to Daniel the second chapter on the forty fourth verse, where he says, "In the days of these kings, so the most high set up a kingdom that shall never be destroyed." Right. It's going to be not left to other people. It ain't going to be left to these different heathens, man. In carrying first book. Wherein dwelleth righteousness. Yeah, so and righteousness is going to be established in that kingdom. Right. And we know when the righteous in rulership that goodness is just going to flow. Hey, at a certain, after a certain point, these heathens, they're going to start functioning properly, man. You beat them enough for a long enough time, they're going to start functioning properly. And they're going to say, wait, hold on a minute. I know these, I know these Israelites, we hated them, right? But after all of this hell that they're going to put upon us, look how everything's, Everything's just flowing real nice. The rivers run the right direction. The rivers are clean. The fish, the fish industry will be will be up and booming, right? Uh, uh, food and and, and, uh, and vegetation will be all right. Everyone's gonna be all right in the kingdom when you think about it. But we're gonna be we're gonna be in royalty, right? So you heathens are gonna really gonna be in a better position than you in now because all the food from Esau is junk, right? All the, all the schools that you get to are, is is madness. Right, you send your daughter, man. If I had a daughter, man. If I, if, 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 if God forbid, we're here for another ten years, and I have, and I have a daughter, man. God forbid, that because man, you can't send your, you can't send your daughters off to these Esau school, man. You come back a, 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 a mad hog, right? <laughs> we, yeah, we, hey, some of them, some of the, some of the brothers know a little bit more about that than I. I might be able to tell you, man. Right, you, you, you know, you know, you put men around women, what's gonna happen? They're gonna have sex, man. Doesn't matter what age. You, from thirteen onwards, you put boys around girls. They're gonna have sex, and that's what this. That's what's that's what's heavy in this kingdom. Mm -hmm. It's that it's that sex demon, all right. Which really we're supposed to be heavy into this thing, man. Now you wanna carry on for us, bro? Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace. Right, right. So you're gonna be found of the Most High in peace. And pretty much with that. You know, we say double honors to the elders of GMS, honors to your brothers that be pushing this truth in sincerity, right? And to what you how you how say, but they how, but they how say, right? All right. See you on the next one. Shalom.